This is All India Radio. We now bring you a special news program on COVID-19. Good morning. I am Anuja Kumar and with me is Sarabjit Kaur. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls upon G20 countries to come out with a concrete plan to fight COVID-19. G20 countries to inject over $5 trillion into global economy to minimize coronavirus impact. Center announces relief package worth 1.7 lakh crore rupees for poor. Government issues standard operating procedure for maintaining supply of essential goods. Central Provident Fund Commissioner asks field officers to credit pension by 30th March. AIMS sets up a task force to develop a management protocol for COVID-19. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called on G20 leaders to help usher in a new globalization for the collective well-being of humankind and have multilateral fora focusing on promoting shared interests of humanity. In his address at Virtual G20 Leaders Summit last night, Mr. Modi underscored the need to put human beings at the center of vision of global prosperity and cooperation. He also stressed the importance of freely and openly sharing the benefits of medical research and development, developing adaptive, responsive and humane health care systems and promoting new crisis management protocols. Mr. Modi called on the G20 to come out with a concrete action plan to fight the global pandemic. The Prime Minister said that 90% of the COVID-19 cases and 88% of deaths were in G20 countries. The summit was convened to discuss the challenges posed by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic and to forge a global coordinated response. Detail from our correspondent. The powerful leaders of the G20 countries at the Extraordinary Virtual Summit expressed extraordinary resolve to respond to the COVID-19 challenge facing the world. The leaders at the summit said that they are determined to spare no effort, both individually and collectively, to protect lives, safeguard people's jobs and incomes, preserve financial stability, provide help to all countries in need of assistance, and coordinate on public health and financial measures. The leaders agreed to pump in over 5 trillion U.S. dollars into the global economy as part of targeted fiscal policy, economic measures, and guarantee schemes to counteract the social, economic, and financial impact of the pandemic. The G20 leaders also committed to provide immediate resources to the World Health Organization's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness and Innovation, and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, on a voluntary basis. Kanchan Prasad, AIR News, Dubai. A top UN official in India has welcomed Prime Minister Narendra Modi's decision of a 21-day nationwide lockdown to contain the spread of the deadly novel coronavirus, saying collective efforts are required to overcome one of the greatest health threats of our lifetime. Mr. Modi on Tuesday announced a nationwide lockdown for three weeks in an attempt to stem the spread of coronavirus in India. Spokesman for the UN Secretary General Stephen Dujaric said that UN Resident Coordinator in India, Renata Desalien, welcomed Prime Minister Modi's strategy for a nationwide 21-day lockdown to curtail the spread of the virus. The Union Government has announced a package of 1.7 lakh crore rupees for the poor who need immediate help in the wake of COVID-19, like migrant workers and urban and rural poor. Briefing media in New Delhi, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said they have come up with Prime Minister Garib Kalyan scheme to help the migrant and poor people. She also announced an insurance cover of 50 lakh rupees per person for three months for COVID-19 warriors who are exposing themselves to the virus. They include doctors, paramedics, healthcare workers, sanitation workers, ASHA workers dealing with coronavirus outbreak. A package which 
will immediately take care of the concerns, the welfare concerns of the poor and the suffering workers and those who need immediate help. So the package that we come up with will benefit those migrant workers, those poor, those urban and rural poor and the women. And this Prime Minister Garib Kalyan scheme that we want to come out with is expected to meet a total of 1,70,000 crores. The finance minister elaborated that 5 kilo rice or wheat will be given for the next three months for free in addition to the 5 kilos already being given to 80 crore people. Additionally, 1 kilo of preferred pulses will also be given per family for free under Pradhan Mantri Anna Yojana. Ms. Sita Raman said around 8.70 crore farmers will get 2,000 rupees in first week of April in their account under existing Prime Minister's Kisan Yojana. Besides, 20.5 crore women Jandhan account holders will get 500 rupees per month for the next three months, while poor senior citizens, widows and disabled will get an ex gratia of 1,000 rupees. Under Prime Minister's Garib Kalyan Yojana, Mandrega wages would be increased by 20 from 182 to 202 rupees with effect from 1st of next month. The government will contribute employees as well as employers' contribution to the Provident Fund for the next three months of companies with up to 100 employees with 90% earning not more than 15,000 rupees. The contribution will be a total of 24% of eligible wages. Under Ujwala scheme, gas cylinders would be provided to 8 crore poor families free of cost for the next three months. Senior citizens, widows and disabled will be given an ex gratia of 1,000 rupees in two installments over the next three months. This will benefit 3 crore poor senior citizens, widows and divyangs. The centre has issued Standard Operating Procedure SOP for maintaining supply of essential goods. In a letter to all the Chief Secretaries of States, the Home Ministry has said that all facilities in the supply chain of essential goods, whether involved in manufacturing, wholesale or retail of such goods through local stores, large brick or e-commerce companies, should be allowed to operate ensuring social distancing. The retail end of the supply chain shall operate only in essential goods as specified in the order. They will provide an undertaking to this effect and also allow subsequent audit of the records with a view to ensure compliance. Department of Science and Technology, DST, has set up a COVID-19 task force for mapping of technologies from research and development labs, academic institutions, startups and micro, small and medium enterprises. It also aims at funding nearly market-ready solutions in the area of diagnostics, testing, healthcare delivery solutions and equipment supplies. Some of these solutions include masks, sanitizers, affordable kits for screening, ventilators and oxygenators. DST is also coordinating an effort to upscale appropriate technologies and manufacturing available in India for addressing a plethora of issues related to COVID-19. Ministry of Tribal Affairs has written to tribal development departments of all states for rescheduling holidays in Eklavia Model Residential Schools and Eklavia Model Day Boarding Schools due to COVID-19. The ministry said summer holidays to be advanced as a special case and schools to remain shut till 25th of May or till further orders. During this period, entry of outsiders into the campus is completely banned. The ministry said students appearing in board examinations and attending special classes may be retained with due care in the campus. Teachers can avail the holidays after completion of declaration of results. Results should be communicated to the students by post and SMS. It said admission of students in class 6 and lateral entry in class 9 and 11 shall also be completed in all respects during this period before the school reopens. Indian Air Force continues to take measures to provide all possible assistance to the civil administration across the country in containing the spread of COVID-19. IAF has created nine quarantine facilities of 200 to 300 personnel capacity each at nodal IAF bases across the country. Command Hospital Air Force Bangalore has been designated as the first laboratory in the IAF to undertake COVID-19 testing, which will greatly enhance the region's ability to carry out quick testing of suspected cases and allow prompt and timely intervention where required. 
The union government has said that there is no concrete evidence of community transmission of coronavirus in the country. It also said that the number of confirmed cases are increasing, but the rate at which the numbers are increasing are stabilizing now. Briefing media in New Delhi, Joint Secretary in Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Love Agarwal said, stabilization in increase of numbers is only the initial trend and collective effort of people to practice social distancing measures will continue. Mr. Agarwal said more than 64,000 people are under surveillance and one or two cases does not prove that it has spread to the community level. Mr. Agarwal said 17 states have started work to build dedicated COVID hospitals and online training for the doctors has been started with the help of AIMS Delhi to bring uniformity in the treatment. इस को स्पेसिफिकली हमने कोविड के लिए डेडिकेटेड हॉस्पिटल बनाने के लिए जो रिक्वेस्ट की है उसके तहत करीब 17 स्टेट में एक कार्य शुरू भी हो चुका है जहां पर ये डेडिकेटेड कोविड हॉस्पिटल्स बनाए जा रहे हैं इसके साथ ही सारे पेशेंट्स का प्रॉपर प्रोटोकॉल के हिसाब से ट्रीटमेंट हो और हमारे देश में देश व्याप्त सब जो हमारे डॉक्टर्स हैं उनको हम ओरिएंट कर पाए कि उसका प्रोटोकॉल क्या है यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट हो उसके लिए एम्स दिल्ली के साथ मिलकर अभी हम लोगों ने ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग डॉक्टर्स के लिए शुरू की है वह ट्रेनिंग जो कि महामारी विज्ञान इन्फेक्शन कंट्रोल प्रैक्टिसेज और केस मैनेजमेंट के ऊपर हमारे डॉक्टर्स को ओरिएंटेशन के द्वारा दी जा रही Joint Secretary and Home Ministry Punya Salila Srivastava said that all government has asked the states and union territories to ensure proper supply, production and distribution of essential items. लॉकडाउन पीरियड में एनफोर्समेंट के साथ साथ आपको एसेंशियल गुड्स और सर्विसेज में कोई कमी ना महसूस हो स्वास्थ्य सेवाएं एवं एसेंशियल सप्लाईज सर्विसेज और कमोडिटीज को सुनिश्चित करने के लिए राज्य सरकारों ने कई कदम उठाए हैं जिनमें से कुछ कदम तो बहुत ही इनोवेटिव हैं और भारत सरकार अपनी ओर से ट्वेंटी फोर बेसिस पर स्टेट्स और यूटीज की स्थिति को मॉनिटर कर रही है जो हमारे माइग्रेंट लेबरर्स हैं उनके लिए शेल्टर और फूड की व्यवस्था हो सभी लेवल्स पर हम बार बार सेंसिटाइज कर रहे हैं कि जो जहां है उसका वही पर सुरक्षित रूप से रहना उचित होगा मीन वाइल द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कन्फर्म्ड केसेज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन क्लाइम्स टू सिक्स इंक्लूडिंग फोर्टी सेवन नेशनल्स Health and Family Welfare Ministry has confirmed that 43 patients have been cured and discharged and 13 deaths have been reported in the country so far. This is All India Radio giving you a special program on COVID-19. Let's take a look at the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls upon G20 countries to come out with a concrete action plan to fight COVID-19. G20 countries to inject over 5 trillion dollar into global economy to minimize coronavirus's impact center announces relief package worth 1.7 lakh crore rupees for poor government issues standard operating procedure for maintaining supply of essential goods central provident fund commissioner asks field officers to credit pension by 30th march AIMS sets up a task force to develop a management protocol for COVID-19. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. Central Provident Fund Commissioner CPFC has directed the link nodal branches of all pension dispersing banks throughout the country to ensure credit of pension in the accounts of pensioners by 30th of March. This timely credit of pension at this hour of need has been ensured by all 135 field offices of Employees Provident Fund Organization EPFO. The organization is committed to serve its pensioners at all times. EPFO makes payment of pension to 65 lakh pensioners every month under the Employees Pension Scheme 1995. Union government has asked distilleries and sugar mills to maximize manufacture of hand sanitizers. Consumer Affairs Ministry said 100 distilleries and more than 500 manufacturers have been permitted to produce hand sanitizers. Most of them have commenced production and others are likely to commence production in a week. The ministry said central and state governments are taking all steps to ensure supply of essential items during the lockdown to combat the novel coronavirus. In order to prevent spread of coronavirus, hand sanitizers are used by public health workers and hospitals. 
in order to ensure that hand sanitizers are made available to general public and hospitals at a reasonable price government has also fixed the maximum retail price of sanitizers the retail prices of hand sanitizers shall not be more than 100 rupees per bottle of 200 milliliters All India Institute of Medical Sciences AIMS Delhi has set up a task force to develop a management protocol for COVID-19. It has also constituted several committees to respond to challenges of rising number of the infections which may emerge in the coming days. The committees have been constituted for coordination of various activities related to management of patients. The AIMS also said that all healthcare personnel will be trained to handle and use personal protection equipment. Shahi Imam of the Jama Masjid in Delhi Sayyid Ahmad Bukhari has appealed to the Muslims to offer all the prayers including Friday prayer from their homes he asked them not to come out of their houses and follow the complete lockdown ordered by the government he appealed to the people to take precautions and abide by the instructions issued by the government in the wake of covid-19 आज तमाम इंसानियत और हमारा मुल्क कोरोना वायरस की मौलिक बीमारी से मुतासर है ये वक्त सिर्फ और सिर्फ एहतियात और प्रिकॉशंस का है हुकूमत की जानब से जो भी स्टेप्स उठाए जा रहे हैं उस पर सख्ती के साथ अमल करने का है लोगों को घरों पर ही नमाज पढ़ने की हिदायत दी गई है और लोग इस पर अमल भी कर रहे हैं आज जुमा है तमाम उलमा की यही राय है कि लोग घरों में नमाज जहर अदा करें Dr Ashutosh Vishwas who is an infectious disease expert in AIMS has said that it is challenging for the doctors to deal with situation arising out of covid-19 but it is a profession to provide medical services talking to AIR news Mr Vishwas said that doctors resident doctors nurses and paramedic staff are working day and night for the management of covid-19 he said people are advised to stay at their homes and not move out इस सिचुएशन में अब पूरा हमारे जो प्रिपरेशन है पूरा लॉकडाउन है और हमने हमने सीख लिया कि इस बीमारी का कैसे इसको हम खत्म करें कोरोना को कैसे रोकना है एकमात्र जो तरीका है लॉकडाउन और लॉकडाउन में आपको होम आइसोलेशन और होम स्टे इससे हम लोग पूरी तरह से एकदम पूरा हम इस बीमारी को रोक सकते हैं Dr Vishwas said the mortality rate due to the covid-19 is low but the possibility of transmission of the disease is high to ye zyada time jeevit nahi rehte active nahi rehte hain virus ye 6 to 8 hours maximum aapka us inactive ho jata hai virus agar cloth fabric kisi mein hota hai zyada time viable nahi hai to isme kya karna chahiye koi bhi saman agar leke aate hain to best hai ki usko hum use kare jaise gloves use karna chahiye aur fir usko सामान को अगर आप वॉश कर सकते हैं वॉशेबल चीजें तो वॉश करना ठीक रहता है डेजिग्नेटेड प्लेस में होना चाहिए नहीं कि किचन के अंदर आप वॉश करो और फिर आपको वॉश करके कहीं आइसोलेटेड जगह पे रखना चाहिए In Himachal Pradesh state wide curfew has been relaxed for 6 hours daily for the public to make essential purchases Chief Minister Jairam Thakur urged the people to come out of their homes only in the emergency situation as the curfew has been enforced for their safety more from our correspondent In order to facilitate people for their daily needs curfew has been relaxed from 7 am to 1 pm daily across the state from today The relaxation in curfew is only to facilitate people to buy their essential commodities not for commuting from one place to another unnecessarily only one family member has been allowed to go out for purchasing during the relaxation period Chief Minister Jairam Thakur directed the district commissioners to explore the possibility of home delivery through major departmental stores of urban areas which would be helpful in observing social distancing Jairam Thakur also urged the people of the state to buy essential commodities from groceries near to their home as it would be helpful in breaking the covid 19 chain sanjeev sundriyal air news shimla in uttar pradesh prisoners are helping in war against covid 19 by making face masks and sanitizers which they not only use themselves but are also being provided to different government agencies and ngos on a very low price a report At a time when masks and sanitizers are being hard to get from the market the prisoners in jails of UP have shown a way to prepare them on a very low cost that is 5 rupees per mask 
टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस यूनिक वर्क बाई प्रिजनर्स डी जी प्रिजेंस ऑफ स्टेट आनंद कुमार टोल डे आई आर हमारी तिरसठ जेल इकहत्तर जेलों में से तिरसठ जेल में हमारे सिलाई के यूनिट लगे हुए हैं यहाँ ये मास्क बनाए जा रहे हैं तेईस मार्च की शाम तक एक लाख चौबीस हजार पांच सौ अस्सी मार्क्स हमारे बन चुके थे और आज की स्थिति ये है की डेढ़ लाख के ऊपर यह संख्या जा चुकी है देने के बाद भी हमारे पास सरप्लस मास्क एज ए रिजल्ट ऑल द इनमेट्स इन दीज जेल्स हैव प्रोटेक्टिव मास्क He said that they are now in a position to supply masks to the government, NGOs, and the general public. The DG prison said that sanitizers and disinfectants are also being manufactured in some jails in the state. He added that jail administration has taken all measures to stop the spread of COVID-19 in jails of the state. Task force har jail mein bani hai. Hamari khatro jail mein task force bani hai, jiske adhyaksh wahan ke superintendent hai, wahan ke jailer uske member hai. Day to day basis pe har jail mein jo bandi hai, unke parishan hota hai. Jo bhi ऐसे सिम्टम्स जिसके दिखाई देते हैं उस आइसोलेशन वार्ड बना हुआ आइसोलेशन में रहा और जो नए बंदी हमारे जेलों में आ रहे हैं उनको हम क्वारंटीन करते हैं दस दिन के ताकि जो नए बंदी अगर बाहर से आ रहे हैं तो कोई इन्फेक्शन लेके नहीं सुशील चंद्र तिवारी ए आई आर न्यूज लखनऊ इन मध्य प्रदेश द नंबर ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन केसेज हैज रिजन टू ट्वेंटी वन विद फाइव मोर पेशेंट इन इंदौर हॉस्पिटल एंड वन इन शिवपुरी टेस्टिंग कोरोना वायरस पॉजिटिव येस्टडे सेकेंड पेशेंट हैज डाइड ड्यू टू कोरोना लाइक सिम्टम्स इन इंदौर अ रिपोर्ट to save people from the corona virus a major decision has been taken by the muslim society in madhya pradesh there will be no longer be mass prayers in mosque to prevent the spread of corona virus businessmen in most cities including capital city bhopal are marking in front of medical stores vegetable and grocery shops for creating a sufficient distance between the customers the meeting called by chief minister shivraj singh chauhan in the ministry yesterday also saw social distancing to follow a distance of 1 meter all the officers sat down leaving a chair each in between police is also taking humanitarian initiatives during the lockdown in madhya pradesh police personnel are giving food to the laborers returning to their villages on foot police is also conducting medical checkups of these laborers sanjeev sharma air news bhopal in bihar number of corona virus positive case has gone up to 7 with one new case coming up during last 24 hours the fresh case is a ward boy of a private hospital of patna The lone deceased of the state who died due to coronavirus was under treatment in this hospital. In Rajasthan, five more persons tested positive for coronavirus yesterday. Two cases reported from Bilwara and one each from Junjunu, Jodhpur and Jaipur. A total of 43 persons have been tested positive in the state so far. Karnataka Revenue Minister R Ashok has said that the poor and destitute will be supplied free food packets through NGOs during the lockdown period. He said there are no restrictions on sale of groceries but milk and vegetables should be sold only between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. More from our correspondent. Bengaluru Mahanagar Palike war room is tracing and tracking the spread of pandemic in the state and taking counter measures. Bengaluru is divided into eight zones and eight IAS officers are leading the counter COVID-19 teams to mitigate the threat of the pandemic. In Bengaluru alone 22,000 persons are in home quarantine. Home quarantine enforcement squad are keeping track of the quarantined persons. So far 9,111 counseling sessions have been held for those in quarantine. The 50 COVID-19 19 positive patients in isolation at designated hospitals are stable till date 128046 passengers were screened in Karnataka Sudhindra AIA news Bengaluru In Tamil Nadu nine different committees have been formed with senior IAS officers to address concerns over the movement and availability of essential goods to all during the curfew period a decision on this has arrived after a marathon review meeting held by the state chief minister ida padi palani swami with district collectors and superintendents of police via video conferencing more from a correspondent the government's multi super specialty hospital in chennai has been converted into a 350 bed facility exclusively for covid-19 treatment isolation ward step down ward and medical and paramedical teams are put in place in chennai alone there are over 20000 homes that are declared quarantined however the city corporation commissioner has appealed to the public that they should not be considered as people with patients 
he has clarified that the action is only a precautionary measure. He has appealed to the public having vacant homes or lodges to give them temporarily to the civic body to augment the isolation and quarantine facilities in the city. Meanwhile, a third private diagnostic center has been approved by the Indian Council for Medical Research in Chennai. Jai Singh, AR News, Chennai. Kerala strengthens the fight against COVID-19 as more cases are being confirmed in the state. A report. 19 more COVID-19 positive cases are confirmed in Kerala, taking the total number of presently infected patients to 126 in the state. More than 1 lakh people are under observation in the state. As Kerala continues in lockdown, the surveillance across the state is tightened. People are largely staying at home. Community kitchens started functioning under local bodies to ensure food to all. Two months social welfare pension will be distributed today. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan welcomed the central government's economic package to contain COVID-19. Government has showed that Kerala is fully prepared to beat any kind of situation, even if COVID-19 infection worsens in the state. Mr. Vijayan further said that Kerala will form a youth volunteer force to help in the fight against COVID-19. The plan is to mobilize a volunteer army of 2.36 lakh youths between the age of 22 and 40 to take up various necessary services that have cropped up in the wake of the outbreak. The registration of the volunteers will be done online through a web portal, Sarnatham. Mayusha for AR News from Siddhivarandapuram. The centre government has permitted eight private laboratories to carry out coronavirus testing in Maharashtra. Minister for Medical Education and Culture Amit Deshmukh informed that the ICMR has given permission to 27 labs across the country, out of which eight are in Maharashtra. Deshmukh said the eight private labs are located in Mumbai, Thane and Pune cities function to their full capacity. They can test at least 2,000 swab samples on a daily basis. Meanwhile, the Bombay High Court has said all interim orders passed by courts across Maharashtra shall continue till April 30th in view of the 21-day nationwide lockdown announced by the centre to stem the spread of coronavirus. Prominent persons have appealed the people to follow the lockdown guidelines as announced by the government. Central Board of Film Certification Chief and noted lyricist Prasoon Joshi said, हाँ घर में रहेगा देश इस देश को प्यार बुजुर्गों से यहाँ खुद से पहले अपने इस देश को प्यार बुजुर्गों से यहाँ खुद से पहले अपने हैं कर्तव्य यहाँ पहले आता और बाद में आते सपने बस यही एक संदेश हाँ घर में रहेगा देश 21 दिन का उपवास लिए 21 दिन का उपवास लिए जीवन की लंबी सांस लिए सीमा रेखा न तोड़ेंगे एक संयम एक विश्वास लिए चलो मन को दे आदेश हाँ घर में रहेगा देश संकल्प नया एक करते हैं चलो मिलकर पीड़ा हरते हैं संकल्प नया एक करते हैं चलो मिलकर पीड़ा हरते हैं इस देश के रहने वाले तो हर दिन ही तपस्या करते हैं बढ़ जाने दो ये केश हाँ घर में रहेगा देश Popular Sufi singer Kailash Kher has also urged people to follow the lockdown guidelines issued by the government. हमारे प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने एक बहुत ही प्यारा निर्णय लिया जिससे कि हमारे देशवासी और प्रति नागरिक सुरक्षा की कवच में आ जाए 21 दिन का लॉकडाउन कर दिया है जिसके लिए आप सबको मैं हाथ जोड़कर निवेदन करता हूं अनुपालन करें सहृदय करें in the United States, according to data compiled by World Meter, over 16,000 confirmed cases were reported in a single day yesterday, making the total number of COVID-19 patients to 85,088, the highest for any country. The United States surpassed China, 81,285, and Italy, 80,589, in terms of number of people infected with the novel coronavirus. And now for an overview of today's newspapers, Covering COVID-19 stories, it's over to Sarabjit Kaur. Thank you, Anuja. A package focused on emergency cash transfers into bank accounts of the poor by the government grabs the front page headline in all the newspapers today. Cash transfers, free food grains for poor in 1.7 lakh crore rupees corona package, writes the Times of India. The Hindustan Times says India fights economic epidemic. Infection rate graph stable post-curfew is a headline in the Tribune, while the Hindu states' rate of spread has slowed relatively. India has over one-year food grain reserve, reports the Pioneer. 
सेंटर प्लानिंग 150 फोल्ड हाइक टू बूस्ट टेस्टिंग कैपेसिटी टू 37 लाख राइट्स द फाइनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस एंड फाइनली इन अ हार्ट वार्मिंग टेल व्हेन ह्यूमैनिटी शाइन्स इवन थ्रू द ग्लूम ऑफ कोविड 19 शू एक्सपोर्टर्स इन आगरा विल हैंड आउट 5000 फूड पैकेट्स टू दोस हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर लाइवलीहुड्स एंड विद दैट इट्स बैक टू यू अनुजा थैंक यू सरबजीत एंड नाउ बिफोर वी एंड द स्पेशल न्यूज़ प्रोग्राम ऑन कोविड 19 द हेडलाइंस वंस अगेन Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls upon G20 countries to come out with a concrete action plan to fight COVID-19. G20 countries to inject over 5 trillion dollar into global economy to minimize corona virus impact. Center announces relief package worth 1.7 lakh crore rupees for poor. Government issues standard operating procedure for maintaining supply of essential goods. Central Provident Fund Commissioner asks field officers to credit pension by 30th of March. AIMS sets up a task force to develop a management protocol for COVID-19. And with that, we end the special news program on COVID-19.